Okay, what we want to learn here is how to create and save a document. Well, to create a document, you first need to open up Microsoft Word and just start typing. And what we're going to type here for our document is, oh, well, let's do a memo. Now, if I type in some text, I can hit the backspace key here to delete it. It deletes whatever is behind the cursor. If I want to delete what's in front of the cursor, then I just hit the delete key. So if I use my mouse and click just before the letter M and hit the delete key, it deletes what's in front of it versus hitting the backspace key, which deletes what's behind the cursor. I'm going to hit enter a couple of times and type in who it's to, colon. I'm going to hit the tab key, hit enter, from, colon, hit the tab key. I'm not hitting the space bar. I'm going to type in my name. Now Word doesn't like my name because it doesn't think that that's proper spelling for Kurt, K-I-R-T, but I'm going to keep on going and hit enter. Say it's regarding, hit the tab key. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm getting to the end of the line here, I don't want to hit enter. And I'll tell you why in just a second. I want to keep typing. Word will, will naturally wrap any text when you get to the end of the margin here. And you can see everything in this ruler that's white. In between here is the text. If it tries to go beyond it into, into this section here of the document, it'll normally wrap it for me. So I'm going to hit the space bar twice and keep typing. So because it couldn't fit the, the whole word C over here because it would cut it off into the margin, it naturally took the whole word and put it on the new line for me. So I didn't have to hit enter. So unless you have to and you want to create a new line, you don't want to hit enter and we'll talk about that in just a second here. And actually before we do anything else in this uh, document here, I got at least the basics here, I want to save my work. If you're like me, you, you want to save everything after either major changes or after maybe uh, 20 or 30 seconds. So up at the top, you can see that this document hasn't been saved because it's got the generic title, Document 6. Well, anytime you have Microsoft Word open and you keep clicking a new document, it keeps adding Document 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm already up to Document 6 here. That's okay. What I want to do is I want to save it. Now, on your Quick Access Toolbar, if you've programmed it and it has, if you have the Save button there added to it, then just click on the Save button. If not, you can click on the Office Logo button here and go down and click on Save. Now, anytime you save a document for the first time, it's going to do a save as. A save as means where do you want to save this document and what's the name of the document. Soon as you can answer those two questions, then you can save the document, at least for the first time. Then after, every time after you save it, it will never ask you those questions again, okay? So first, what's the name? It's Client Referral Memo Document. And when you click and drag, you can see it, that's the first couple words in the document. It thinks that that's the title, so naturally, by default, Microsoft Word wants to say that that's the name of the document. Well, you can change it if you want to by clicking down here and saying, well, maybe it's client memos or just memo. You know, use your backspace key or your delete key to change the file name. Now, where is it going to save it? Well, if you get in some outer space land here and you don't know where you're at, I usually like to click on the desktop and boom, it takes me right to my desktop. And from here, on my desktop, I have an exercise folder. Now, I want to save it inside the exercise folder. Or maybe I want to add a new folder. If I want to add a new folder, I can click on New. It opens it up here, and it gives me the option to type in the name of the new folder. And it can say My Memos. Once I'm done typing it, just hit Enter on the keyboard, and it does two things. First of all, it creates the folder, and you can see My Memos. And I'm inside that folder now. So all I have to do is, if I'm okay with the name, go ahead and click Save. And that's it. I'm done. In fact, I can stop right now, or I can keep on typing and hit Enter a couple of times. And let's go a little bit further, and then we'll save our work. Because you'll notice that if I click Save again, and I keep clicking Save, or going to the Office logo and clicking Save, it doesn't open up that dialog box and saying, okay, what's my name, and where am I supposed to be saved? Word gets it after the first time you save it. It's just a one-time thing when you first save your document. So let's keep on typing here. And I'm going to type in, let's do a misspelled word automatically, T-E-H, where it's supposed to be the. The moment I hit the space bar and I type an incorrect word, Word, by default, is going to autocorrect it. So let me hit the space bar, and automatically it fixes it. 
so it says T-E-H is usually a normal misspelling, so we'll automatically fix it and type in the. Now you can fix that so it doesn't automatically correct it for you, if you want to, by hovering over the word itself and you get that little blue line, you see that, that little blue box? You hover over that little blue box and it gives you what they call a smart tag and then you click on that little arrow on the smart tag and it gives you the option to say, look, never ever change this automatically for me. I want you to stop automatically correcting T-E-H because, I don't know, in some foreign country, ta is like the, <laughs> but in any case, I don't want to do that. But let you know that that's what's happening here. So it tries to take words that are commonly misspelled, and when you hit the space bar, that's the trigger. It'll correct whatever word you were just typing behind it. And you see, I didn't hit enter, I just kept on typing when it got to that margin over here, between the white and the gray here, you come straight down, once it hits that margin, it's going to automatically take the whole word and put it on the next line for me. Now having said that, how many paragraphs do I have in this document? But before you answer, know this, Microsoft sees paragraphs different than what you were taught in your English class, because in English we were taught, well, a paragraph has two or three or four sentences in it. Do you know that any time you hit enter, that's a new paragraph according to Word? How do you know? Up here in the, on the ribbon, on the Home tab in the Paragraph group, if you click on this little Show High Code button, it's pretty fancy, it shows you the different paragraphs that Word sees. Not that you see, that you got taught in your English class, but you see this any time you hit Enter, it adds a new paragraph. So Microsoft sees, yes, it sees this um, phrase here, or the title, Client Referral Memo, as a paragraph, because we hit Enter. It sees this blank line as a paragraph. It sees that as a paragraph. Now, the other thing is, is tabs. Anytime you hit the tab key, you get a little arrow. So if I come over here and hit tab, 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 every five spaces, it adds an arrow for the code. If I come back up here, and I click on that code button again to turn it off, I don't see it. Click it on, I see it now. So then I can come back in here, and if my cursor's way out here, see where that's at? I don't know if it's spaces, I don't know if it's tabs, Well, I can turn it on, see what it is, and hit the backspace arrow, and get rid of those extra tabs or spaces if there are. 20 spaces. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. It helps to make changes, like if client referral, I want an extra paragraph or a hard return between that and the, well, the paragraph below it. I can click just after the letter L and hit enter a couple of times and you see I've got a couple of extra paragraph markers there. So those are two paragraphs. And of course, like I just showed you by hitting the space bar, those little dots in between each word are spaces. So at least you know how many spaces. If a word looks like it has two spaces, but you can't tell because the paragraph codes are off, and you're kind of like, wow, that looks like it's got a lot of spacing. Just turn them on, you can see you got two dots, it's two spaces. Hit the backspace key, get rid of one of the, the spaces, and turn them off. I don't recommend having the codes on because, as you can see, it gets a little bit messy trying to focus on what's actually text with all those little dashes and dots and arrows and things. So we're finished, we can go ahead and save it. Close out of the document. Now remember, I saved this in a folder on my desktop. There's my desktop, My Memos. And inside My Memos, when I double click on it, is my client referral document. And I can double click on that. Opens it right up. Fantastic. I can make other changes, add a few hard returns, save my work, close out. It's always there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.